So when we first get our auto coach system, we simply pull it out of the box. Here's some general information. A quick user's guide. We we'll bring the, the watch out of the out of the box. We simply turn the watch on by holding in the left side button and either of the top buttons at the same time. On. That gives you the command on as we come into stopwatch mode. Now when we first get our watch we need to set up the actual distance of the pool that we're actually using. So we have to go to setup mode. We simply hold the left button in. We rotate the right button until we get to what we call setup mode. We currently have a 25 meter pool set up. If I want to make that a 50 meter pool, I simply turn the right button to 50 meters and I store it by holding that right button in. One of the unique features of this watch is the reaction compensation. It's in this right hand corner here. When we're watching a race, we can simply turn and add a compensation so that we can be in time with the official time. That will be added to the time when we start the watch. So we press the right button to commence the race. We then get a stroke rate at the hand entry and get three arm cycles. That's one, two, three. That gives us a stroke rate of 46.8. Now as we come in towards the approach of the wall, we'll get our first split of a time of 28.70. On the way back, once again we'll get a stroke rate and the entry. One, two, three arm cycles, 47.0. A reminder that as they come into the wall, when you finish a race, you need to hold the button down on the right side. Thus, our splits, our overall time, and by simply turning this button around here, this will give us information from the first split as well. So we can rotate between the two splits. When we turn off the stopwatch, we have to make sure that it's not running and we simply hold the left side button in and we press either of the top buttons together. Shut it down. Off. It'll give you the commands that it's been turned off.